The second edition of the International Architectural Education Summit, hosted by IE School of Architecture, recently took place in Madrid and Segovia. Organized jointly by IE School of Architecture and UCLA, the summit began with a keynote address by award-winning architect and educator Tom May. You have to be able to work quickly and respond. It's problem formation that we have to become much more active, and um, the students are ready for that. The event brought together internationally renowned architects, educators and scholars to explore trends, issues and research in architectural education worldwide. I think there are two challenges for educa uh, architectural education. One, one is to resolve the gap between uh, education and the professional world. Second is to make architectural education a bigger entity. Uh, our schools need to reach a wider audience, uh, the audience of architecture in general, and I think uh, our challenge is to be able to connect to other disciplines, other people, the ones that are not architects but are still relevant to the architecture world. It's a big challenge for the architecture education as for the architect's profession to take much more uh, insight in other professions and other fields to understand how things working together. To be concerned by, um, by the question of how to help people to live better because the condition of the world is dangerously changing. So due to economic, uh, due to economy, due to social, due to finance, due to um, um, fighting between religions, etc. So I think that uh, today, instead of just um, challenging with forms, the question is human, a human being. The inaugural summit, held at Tokyo University in 2009, focused on how globalization has affected architectural education as a discipline and its relation to the profession. The 2011 summit explored a range of themes related to innovation in architectural education and provided an unparalleled networking opportunity for the 20 deans in attendance. We rarely get together just to talk about education. We're usually talking about some kind of innovation that affects education, like digital technologies or something. So uh, to talk about the pure form of what an architectural or design education might be, I think that's a very interesting and compelling question. The danger is that it becomes a kind of coterie and that the really interesting people out there teaching are not necessarily the people who are running the schools. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe that's inevitable. But I think there ought to be far more such gatherings, but I think they ought to be at every kind of level. I think uh, what happens in, at times when people meet, when they come from different circumstances, they have a very rich experience if they have been involved in a field like education. And they can network in order to improve their own educational methods, but equally importantly, I think they can network to change the manner in which their societies look at each other. And I think that's quite important. Two years ago, we discussed about it. And then the conclusion from last two years ago was really interesting. We, we said we should get together again, not to be sort of uniformed or to become sane, but to really make sure that we are different and also keep exploring the, the differences the possibility indifference. So I think that's the biggest value in this kind of a gathering. The three-day summit encompassed a diverse range of opinions on the subject of innovation. Maybe the number of schools that are interested in innovation is very small. So if this conference could increase the percentage of schools committed to innovation by even just 2%, uh, that would be a, a, a huge uh, contribution. I mean, we always assume that schools and architects want to innovate, but mainly they want to survive. So we have to um, communicate again that we only survive through innovation. I think innovation kind of with a, a lowercase i, because I, I don't think you can rapidly change um, the study of architecture, because I don't think architecture changes as rapidly as some people suspect it does. I, I'm, I'm always surprised how parametrics and high-tech always reverts back to a very kind of basic form of construction on site. So I'm, I'm hoping that um, innovation is understood to be kind of incremental and not huge step changes so, um, so we can learn step by step and not throw too many babies out with the bathwater. We at IE are hoping that uh, most of the schools here have conclusions after these two days 
We've put uh, four subjects that are interesting, digital media, interdisciplinary collaboration, globalization, and new platforms for education. Uh, the architecture world needs answers, uh, needs challenges coming out of those uh, four um, themes. And I, I think it would be a success if we can come up you know, with conclusions and make them, uh, put, uh, you know, all of us to put them into practice.